What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're taking a look at the OnePlus 3. I've only had this phone for a couple of days, so don't expect a full review just yet, but instead my initial impressions with more to come very soon, so be sure to leave a thumbs up for that. Now aside from the phone itself, inside of the box you'll find all of the usual suspects. We have some paperwork here, there's also a USB to USB Type-C cable, and a dash charging wall adapter which we'll get into in a little bit. So if you haven't noticed, this phone looks a bit different from its predecessor. Gone are the swappable back covers of the OnePlus 2, and instead we're given an assortment of cases to choose from to customize things a bit. But if you're not into those, you can always switch things up with a dbrand skin like I have here on my OnePlus 2, and I'll leave a link below for you if you want to pick one up for yourself. But onto the OnePlus 3, well, it's got an aluminum design, it's thin, 7.3 millimeters of thin goodness, it's lightweight, and pretty much checks all of the boxes for your typical flagship smartphone smartphone, but in OnePlus fashion, it won't cost you an arm and a leg off contract. I have to say though, I'm a big fan of what they've done with the design this year. It feels like such a solid smartphone. This year though, the flagship killer is packing some killer specs as well. We've got a Snapdragon 820 processor, Adreno 530 GPU, 64 gigabytes of non-expandable flash storage, and a whopping 6 gigabytes of RAM, but I think that's just OnePlus showing off a bit. But again, they're aiming for that whole flagship killer angle, so more equals better, right? Oh, and in case you were nervous, there's even NFC this year as well, so you have no problem with mobile payments. Around the front side, we have a 5.5 inch 1080p optic AMOLED display measuring in at 401 pixels per inch, and I'm pretty happy about those stupid thin bezels as well. The colors are nice and bright here, images are crispy, and it just looks miles better than an IPS display. I really like the display here on the OnePlus 3. Now the fingerprint sensor here is much better than last year's model as well. It's stupid quick, and I never really ran into any issues aside from a hiccup once or twice here or there. And also carried over from the OnePlus 2, we have the alert slider on the side that'll work to switch between different alert modes in Android. Now speaking of Android, I'm once again delighted to be using Oxygen OS. So it's based on Marshmallow this year and the experience is buttery smooth. This phone is quick. Maybe it's the six gigabytes of RAM hard at work or maybe Oxygen OS keeps getting better and better, but whatever it is, I hope that it lasts over time. I've always been a big fan of Oxygen OS though. There are slight customizations throughout, but they've tucked them away enough to stay hidden when you don't need them, which is my favorite part here. OnePlus does a very good job at this and I'm happy to see that their operating system or, well, skin is progressing in a positive way. Around the backside, we have a 16 megapixel Sony sensor with an f2.0 aperture. Now, nothing crazy or innovative, just a camera sensor that makes sense, and I'm totally cool with that. Thank you, OnePlus. <laughs> the camera is quick to launch, pictures are quick to take, and so far, things are looking good. The camera also includes manual controls, raw image support, and even optical image stabilization and electronic stabilization, so your 4K videos here will be buttery smooth. But I'll touch on that more in my full review, so make sure that you're subscribed if you wanna catch that when it drops. As mentioned earlier, the OnePlus 3 comes with a new dash charger that'll juice you up to 60% battery in 30 minutes. And surprise, surprise, it actually lives up to that claim. Charging is very quick here, but this phone certainly can't be all butterflies and rainbows, right? Well, probably not, but OnePlus has done a very good job here, and I'm excited to see more of this phone over the coming week or so. Is this truly a flagship killer? Well, we'll have to find out, but with no invites needed to buy one and a $399 price tag, it's a damn hard phone to pass up. But let me know what you think about the OnePlus 3 in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up. And like I said, be sure that you're subscribed if you're not already to catch my full review in the near future. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. This is Dom, and I'll catch you in the next video.